Are you guys losing hope? Well, guess what? The deep state uses dollars. It's all they have right now. The deep state created FedNow to basically compete against QFS. And guess who will be using QFS and who will be using FedNow? Well, that's right. A separation of financial systems between the bad guys and the good guys. Why is this so important? Well, only the bad guys will be using FedNow. And all finances going to FedNow can easily be traced. If the funds go there, then the ones sending and receiving will be dealt with when an audit happens. BRICS and QFS just herded the bad guys into the stable. They cannot counterfeit and they cannot purchase outside of their own system. No one will take their dollars. That's the plan. This is a master chess move. And one cannot be moved out of checkmate. Think about it. Why else is Mexico and Germany putting applications into BRICS? They know the Fed now CBDC is a trap. If any of those countries send funds into Fed now, they will be held accountable to deep state corruption. And when Fed now pulls the paper currency in America, this forces the drug, human trafficking, and other nefarious cartels who cannot function without paper because it's easier to hide and launder, to stop all business. Because if their only alternative to sell drugs or people through FedNow, QFS, or BRICS encryption, which one will they be forced to use since the dollar will either crash or be less valuable than the rest? My guess is they would be screwed. If all currencies are digital, then all will be traceable to their activities. Most likely, Mexico and Germany are basically going to pull out of their agreements with the black market cartels because losing paper money will stop production. This leaves FedNow to have no choice but to keep paper currency, and the cartels will partner with the Federal Reserve. Do you see how brilliant that is? This catches them all when an audit comes. And if Trump becomes president again, which we all know he will, he will basically shut down the Federal Reserve and arrest all involved. That's good news. There are hundreds of thousands of sealed indictments in the United States. Usually on occasion, there are around maybe around 30,000, but this is huge. The evidence that Durham has been collecting combined with the Federal Reserve audit could be the final blow to the deep state. This is why we are teetering on World War III. The deep state see no way out of this move and wants to cover their asses by destroying everything. They call it the, the scorched earth policy. This is why I believe that Russia is working with many nations, including the United States in Operation Storm for hundreds of years. All of us have been imprisoned in a debt society, unaware our social security numbers have been traded on the stock market as a debt commodity. Biden and Harris ride in ordinary planes and cars because they are being controlled by military law. Washington, D.C. is closed and the IRS has a wall around it. That sovereign country, D.C., has been taken over by our military and they are scripting a functional government using Castle Rock movie productions. All of these clandestine undercover operations are to keep the public safe and not alert them to panic. All of us that are awake are simply helping the movement by waking up the masses one by one. Eventually, when the truth comes out and we gain our republic back, the whole world will live once again in freedom without the coercion, blackmail, murder, theft, and ruthless monopolies that have dumbed us down and kept us from our God-given rights. How long will it last? Well, if history is any indicator, it took the deep state around 300 years to gain the power they currently have. My advice before our jubilee is to stock up on food and water, stay out of the stock markets, buy precious metals instead of paper promises, 
and be ready to hunker down because like a rabid, a rabid animal who is cornered, the deep state will scratch and claw its way to safety and is very unpredictable. So chin up. Come on, guys. This is good news. There's plenty of evidence out there that the good guys have already won. I believe the Stormy Daniels case was the trigger to execute the final plan. So this is good news. Be happy. Be encouraged. Be awake. Spread the news. And pray. Thanks.